Welcome to Data Wheels. Through this video, we will learn about cell reference. Cell reference refers to some cell or range of cells in Excel. It can be used in a formula in Excel. Basically, it has of two types. First is the relative reference, and the second is absolute reference. The relative reference refers to a cell reference wherein it will go to any direction relatively. So let us first understand about the relative reference. So here we have a table that has different columns namely product, quantity and price. We have taken the total amount. The total amount is quantity multiplied by price. And here we can see that we have reference. We have taken reference in B2 and C2. Now I will drag it towards the down. If I will go to the D5, we will see that it will again, it is taking the value of B5 and C5. So it doesn't hamper the reference. Wherever we wanted to take it, it will go accordingly. So this is a relative reference. Now the second type is absolute reference. It basically has three different types. Like, let us suppose that I am taking a value from G2. So, like if I am using G2, it is a relative reference. If I will take it as, if I will use double dollar sign here, then it become a absolute reference. Whenever I'm we are using double reference, double dollar sign, like uh, the example here, it will be a fixed value. If I will drag it to a downwards or rightwards or leftward, it will remain constant. It is always G2. So here we have taken an example also. Here we have a table. And in this table, we have three different columns, data, date, quantity, and price. And in the price, uh, we have calculated it by multiplying quantity with the price per quantity. It gives us a value of 282. If I will drag it to us downwards we see that the value from G2 has been changed. So we will use relative reference here. So we will use a dollar value, two dollar value in G2 before the uh, row number and before, before the column number and row number. Now if we will drag it down we will see that in the last column the value in G2 remains constant and the value uh, B8, B2 comes down to B8 accordingly. So this was the first type of relative reference. There are two different also two different relative reference, uh, absolute reference are also available. Uh, first we are using it like before the column value if in this case I will drag it down it will change but if we will go towards the right it will remain constant
and the second one will be it will be before the row number here if we will take it towards the right word or left word the value will change but if we will take it downward it wouldn't change so basically we are using relative reference we can manipulate relative reference according to our needs let's take an example when we will use the last two type of uh, uh, absolute references here we have two different column and uh, two different tables first is the product name and second is the price value and second one is the month name and the discounted discount percentage for that month now if we wanted to take the actual values for these months so we need to use a formula so basically we will use a formula uh, here I will use my price minus the subtraction price multiplied by discount so it will give us the actual value the actual price after uh, reducing my discount value if I will paste this formula towards right and towards left we find that the uh, references hasn't changed like if we will take it here uh, in uh, J7 we find that this reference from B5 has been changed to D5 and the value in B7 has been changed to D7 so now we will use the reference absolute references as we have taken in as we have shown in the earlier formula that like if I wanted to take this value and wanted to drag towards the right one I wanted this value to be dragged towards the right but do not want this value towards the downward so we have using we have using the dollar formula before column name so here what we did we have not const we have constructed the row number we have constructed the row number and the column value has changed so now accordingly here we wanted to change our value b7 we wanted this value in the row to be constant but not in the column to be constant but not in the row so so we will use these two different references here we see that it has gone in the right way in the column in the cell number j7 h7 we find that the value has come from b2 and uh, b7 and if we will go in the j8 column we find the value has been dragged downwards and rightwards respectively so from this video we have clarified about the cell references basically cell references are of two different kinds 
first is the relative reference second is the absolute reference and we are manipulating these uh, cell references according to our needs sometimes we need to drag our values towards the row sometimes towards the rows so we will use the formula accordingly even sometimes we do not want and sometimes we even do not want to change the cell reference so we will manipulate these all cell references according to our needs hope you like this video i request you to share my video so that other people can also get benefited from this video thank you for watching our video